Well, when five people were murdered in San Jacinto County, it put the national spotlight on the sheriff's office. Well, last week, a report came to light with allegations of dysfunction in the sheriff's office. That report was compiled 10 months. Uh, it compiled 10 months rather than KPRC2 investigator Robert Arnold has been asking what actions have been taken since then. San Jacinto County Commissioner spent nearly $50,000 on this report from the Lion Organizational Development Institute. However, it has been difficult to get a specific answer as to whether any further investigation was done regarding the allegations raised in this report. The Lion report raised concerns about the mishandling of evidence, a possible improper relationship between a deputy and informant, and whether thousands of calls for service were being properly followed up for investigation. The company was scheduled to present its findings to commissioners in August of last year, but were surprised to find Sheriff Greg Capers had been called to that meeting. This could be problematic if you're trying to maintain a sense of transparency and objectivity. It's nothing personal against the sheriff. Vincent Hernandez is the project manager for Lion. He says when commissioners were contacted for a follow-up date to present the report. We were told, uh, in essence, that the matter has been tabled for now. Hernandez says the report was eventually presented to the district attorney, Todd Dillon. He uh, reviewed the report, um, um, said that he would take it back to his county um, for further discussion and review. When KPRC spoke with Dillon, he said he couldn't comment on the matter because it would violate attorney-client privilege since county commissioners are considered his client. We also noticed some of the report's findings echoed allegations previously raised in a lawsuit filed by a former sheriff's office employee. It's been a brutal attack for myself and my family for many years. Michael Flint sued the department, claiming when he brought up these concerns, he was fired and charged with forging a government document. That charge was dismissed, and the county settled the lawsuit for $240,000. I believe that's why they settled with me, so that it wouldn't go anywhere. Flint also unsuccessfully ran against Capers for county sheriff. Now, we did reach out to Sheriff Capers, as well as the county judge and all four county commissioners. Only Commissioner Laddie McAnally returned our call, saying that he was in favor of this report going to the DA, but he declined to offer further comment. Reporting from Cold Spring, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.